Welcome to our neighborhood. There's always garbage somewhere along the side, everywhere we walk, always. Just saw this on someone's fence. And on the other side of the fence. I often wonder how much people are going to stop saying hello now. We've already gotten the habit of it around here. Nobody says anything when you pass them. I wonder what it's going to be afterward. All right, my friends, what I wanted to do today is I'm going to go down to Hollywood Boulevard. I'm going to drive through it. If there aren't too many people out walking the sidewalks, I'm going to stop and show you what Hollywood looks like on lockdown. We're allowed to go out and get some exercise, so I'll go walk down one part of the street, come up the other side, and call it a day. So let's go see what Hollywood looks like while it's closed. Almost every business over here is closed. Here you can see even most of the eateries that are allowed to stay open have closed on Hollywood Boulevard. All the main souvenir shops, I mean all the souvenir shops are closed. Most of them double as convenience stores so they could probably stay open if they wanted, but they're not. Here's the escape room. They claim it's the world's largest escape room. And even they are closed, of course. This souvenir stand I've never seen closed. It's pretty much 24 seven, I feel like it's open. You can see it in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood all decked out with tie-dye and everything, but it's closed. Now I heard one of the most famous eateries in Beverly Hills closed for the virus and then Decided they're probably not ever going to open again. Nate and Al's was Doris Day's favorite place. John Barrymore. And here we're over at Musso and Frank. And they've completely closed up. Completely boarded it all up. For this time, they knew it wasn't going to be any two-week stay or anything like that, apparently. Here's the Banksy. And on this Banksy, somebody has removed the, they had a protective piece of glass or plastic over it. They've removed it and someone wrote that over top of it. This has been here for over 10 years. That's pretty sad. Here's the Egyptian theater. It's all closed. Even Zoltar's closed. Is Starbucks open? 
That might be the only thing on the boulevard open. Nope, they're closed as well. There's my old music school, they're closed of course. The Museum of Illusions is closed. And the Museum of Selfies pretty much guarantee everything is going to be closed. The oxygen massage is closed. Here's the Guinness Book of World Records Museum. And the Ripley's, believe it or not, on the corner. The Snow White Cafe is closed, but I there for a second was like, oh, this is open. And then I realized, nope, they're just doing construction during all this. Now we're coming up on Hollywood and Highland. And after this, I'll do a drive down through here so you can see what it looks like driving. I'm actually gonna be putting this into a movie location vlog here in the future. It's almost unbelievable to see this. I just never thought I would see the day where this entire shopping Corner. This entire block is this massive mall called Hollywood and Highland. I never thought I'd see it empty. People still using the subways, so those are still open. That door on the end was my very first hostel when I moved here 20 years ago. Looks like the Greco's Pizza Place is open. Here you can see all the possible ways of getting into the shopping plaza are chained off. Right over here is the theater that Jimmy Kimmel Live is filmed in. He's now doing his show from his home. I think everybody is. Anyone who is a late night host is pretty much doing their show from their house. This is normally where you see the red carpet for the Oscars and all that stuff. Nothing now. All chained off. You can see the big stairwell in there though. Wonder when the next time this will be open for business. Now we're going to walk past the Hard Rock Cafe and the Chinese Theater. Garbo! Yep, they're not doing to-go orders here. It's just closed. Just closed. And they're letting you know that don't bother robbing us. We got nothing. There you can at least see some of the costumes and the motorcycle for Motley Crue Too Fast for Love. Of course all the theaters are closed. That would be like, <laughs> talk about trouble if you're trying to social distance a movie theater is not the place you want to be. And this makes a lot of sense as well. They've chained all this off. You can't get into put your handprints or feet prints into any of the celebrities handprints and footprints because germs wow days and days and days this will be closed that's just it's so crazy to think about sorry Clint Eastwood and Gloria Swanson I can't come in and visit today
or the cast of Giant. They can't come in and visit Rock Hudson, Elizabeth Taylor, or George Stevens either. Now normally you have buskers out here trying to con you into coming in and buying things at the souvenir shop in here. Normally there's two or three people out here. Now, nothing. Nothing but a sign that says stay safe. And anytime I see anybody walking anywhere near on the sidewalk, I get as far away as possible. No Madame Tussauds. Yep, Carrie Fisher. This store's closed as well. Here's the Roosevelt, and I noticed even they have their front entrance completely gated off, so you can't go in that way either. So even the restaurant that's attached to the Hotel Roosevelt is closed 25 degrees. Sorry, Charlie. Okay, I see someone walking out of this coffee bean and tea leaf right here, so it looks like they must be open. Yep, looks like there are people inside. Well, here the local Hooters is also closed. They're not doing pickup orders or anything either. The Hollywood Experience is closed. Even though the theater is closed, they have the box office lights and everything still on. That's kind of cool. No pickup orders from Ghirardelli. None of those beautiful Sundays. No TMZ tourist famous homes tours. There's that Greco's we found that was open. Open for pizza. I don't know about that. Well, it looks like Ripley still decided to dress up the dinosaur up there for Easter. That's cool. I appreciate that. See over here that Max Factor, aka the Hollywood Museum, has completely boarded everything up. Probably the most famous Hollywood souvenir shop is also closed. But not right now. I wouldn't. Here you can see the McDonald's closed. It definitely would be impossible to get a burger here now. My old school. Pig and Whistle is not doing pickup orders either. Tattoo parlor's closed, of course. This restaurant's closed. What a time in history. What do you think of everything that's going on, Debbie Reynolds? Yeah. All right, I'm done. I'm calling it a day. When somebody covers up Jim Henson and Kermit, I'm calling it a freaking day. So let's do like I promised, hop in the car and I'll give you a little footage driving, show you what that's like.
as you can see they're still doing a little construction but there's not hardly anybody out there's people out walking their dogs and getting a little exercise then sadly we have quite a few homeless people in this area normally this is the most busy part of Hollywood right here even the Man's Chinese Theater they've put barricades in front of so you can't go and put your hands in the handprints Hollywood and Highland unbelievable never thought I'd see the day the whole Hollywood and Highland is closed my friends I hope you all enjoyed seeing what Hollywood Boulevard looks like during all of this thank you Kelly Berezin Linda Foster Angie it's my birthday Hensley Gladys Najjar and Nancy Hopple for making contributions to my channel thank you all for watching and we'll see you all next time have a great night and goodbye <laughs>